In college, I lived with three French guys. Their names were Jacques, Guillaume, and Joslan. I thought I was gonna learn some French, and I did, mostly the bad words. But I also learned something else. I learned about the brie butter baguette. Possibly the greatest sandwich that's ever been. Making the dough is not hard. You want to start the day before. A little bit of flour, a sprinkle of yeast, a little bit of water. You let that sit out overnight. The next day, she'll look pretty much the same, but it should smell a little funky. That funkiness is gonna add a lot of complexity to the bread. It's gonna make it tasty. You wanna add in the rest of your flour, your water, a little bit of salt, some more yeast. And then you gotta work the dough. The more you put into the dough, the more you're gonna get out of it. Gently massaging it, turning, twisting it, stretching out all that gluten. And then you wanna let it rest. Two hours. A good baguette doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the dough. It's how you form it. It's a series of twists and tucks, gentle pinches and caressing strokes. Makes sense that it would be complicated. I mean, this is the country that gave us the croissant. It's basically the origami of pastries. Ready, they just go in the oven to the color of gold because that's what they should taste like and when they come out that's when you prepare your two ingredients you take some perfect French butter and of course brie really good brie After you let the bread cool a little bit, you slice her open, you let the steam melt the butter, and turn the brie into a blanket of flavor for your mouth. And then you eat it, and you cry, and you thank God that asked three random strangers to be your roommate. Because somehow you knew they were gonna show me something that I just didn't know, and opened my mind a bit. And sometimes that opening gets filled with brie and butter. And it's really good. <laughs> That's it.